Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's so good to have you here. Let's talk about choice lists and tables and how best to decide between one or the other. Even if you're an experienced ServiceNow architect, stick with me for two minutes anyway. The reason is that with the new license model, the number of custom tables and columns will play at least some part in the total cost of ServiceNow ownership. So the scenario looks like this. Someone asks you for a field or a catalog variable that stores a list of values to select from. Do you leverage choice lists or tables? I use a simple three test method to make this decision. Test number one, data elements. Do you need more than one element to describe the selection? Let's look at urgency. Do I need to know anything about urgency besides its name? Do I need to know anything about state beside its name? I'd argue that the only thing I care about in these choices is the name of the choice itself. Now what about assigned to? When I pull up the assigned to list, it's got all kinds of user information that is really handy for me in using this field. So it's all the things that make a user a user. Their first name, their last name, their email address, their mobile phone number, and their location. I need more than just the name to make this data useful. Test one, if you need multiple properties, you need a table, plain and simple. Test number two, frequency of change. The main benefit of a table is you can create read, write, update, and delete ACLs so stakeholders can manage the data themselves, whenever or wherever they like. If the choices change frequently and you've used a choice list, you've got to keep stakeholders waiting on releases since choices are in the sys choice table and are captured in update sets. So if you need frequent changes, you need a table. Test number three, aesthetics. A choice list runs out of aesthetic utility after a dozen or so choices. Beyond that, the user has to deal with a scroll bar on a single column render. Compounding this is the fact that the list might not even be alphabetically sorted. It's far easier to use a list view when there's a plethora of choices and the user can use any kind of search they want on any of the columns. Test three, if you have loads of choices, you need a table. So following this little three test heuristic, you should never be in a position where you have to rebuild your choice list as tables or vice versa. Big shout out to my channel sponsor, Ground Shark Coffee, and their delicious Blue Belt blend that got me through the production of this video. Why not check them out in the description below while you're smashing the subscribe and like buttons. And lastly, if you want ServiceNow resources with the passion and depth of understanding you see here, check the description for how to contact me.